Hey everybody, this is the Beware reading for your sign for this month. I'll do three spreads. What you need to be aware of this month spread, the advice spread, and the next good thing that will happen to you this month that will at least put a smile on your face spread. Please like, share and subscribe. Let's begin. This is the first out of three spreads, uh, Pisces, the Beware spread. We have the Seven of Cups, clarified by the Page of Swords. We have uh, the Magician. We have the King of Pentacles, clarified by the Seven of Swords. And we also have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or a Gemini. What you should be aware of is this King of Pentacles. They are either lying to you or cheating on you, or they will be lying to you. Okay, uh, there's something that's going to come to the surface. You will gain clarity about this uh, Kings of Pentacles true identity is, right? The Ace of Swords is a card of clarity on the bottom of the deck right there and the Page of Swords all the way to your left. Uh, perhaps you will find out on your own or somebody will let you know that. Okay, so yeah, the King of Pentacles uh, could be an Earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, if they're not an earth sign, they could be somebody who works for a financial institution. They could be your business partner. This right here doesn't have to be about love, right? Because I wasn't asking about love. I was just asking what uh, Pisces should be aware of. And uh, that's what came out. So, yeah, either an earth sign or it could be about money, finances, work, business in some shape or form. And uh, yeah, the King of Pentacles is classified by the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is a card of a cheater, it's a card of a deception, it's a card of somebody who sneaks around, somebody who is up to no good, somebody who's hiding their true identity. Right? Then uh, again, you will gain clarity as to exactly what this person is all about at some point in February. The Ace of Swords is a card of clarity, uh, that Page of Swords clarifying the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is um, a card of a multiple choice, it's a card of uh, uncertainty and clarity, um, perhaps this is also a card of them deliberately trying to cloud your judgment with that Seven of Cups, right? But with the Page of Swords, you will find out what this person is doing behind your back, right? The Page of Swords is a card of uh, <laughs> spying. Some of you could be literally keeping tabs on this person, or perhaps they're gonna leave their phone unlocked, or they're gonna leave that um, uh, website unlocked, you know, on on the computer screen, or something like that. Or somebody will let you know. The page of swords could be a message coming from somebody, a friend, or whoever, somebody who wishes you well, and they'll tell you, you know what, I just saw this King of Pentacles the other day, and they were doing that, or I overheard a conversation about this King of Pentacles. Right, the Magician in the middle is not a bad card unless it is either surrounded by or clarified by particular cards and the Seven of Swords is most definitely one of those cards, right? In this case, the Magician becomes a liar, a trickster, an illusionist, okay? So yeah, this King of Pentacles will be exposed at some point in, uh, in February. So if this is somebody new entering your life, I wouldn't set your hopes really high for this person. Again, it could be about love work, business, finances. Alright, so yeah, let's take a look at the advice spread real quick. Here's the advice for you, Pisces. This is from your perspective. It's what you need to do or at least take into consideration. Uh, we have the Five of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the Two of Swords and the Moon on the bottom of the deck. Well, the Moon on the bottom of the deck is uh, your major Arcana card, Pisces. And it's the only major Arcana card on the table. At the same time, the Moon is also a card of secrets. Right, so yes, as we saw in the previous spread, this King of Pentacles is definitely hiding something from you. Um, uh, whenever I see spreads like this, Pisces, I um, ask myself, what do we not have in this spread? And what we don't have in this spread is you guys continuing this journey together. Right? We don't have you reconnecting. We don't have you together. We don't have you, um, you know, feeling good about this person or the situation. What we do have is the Five of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. These are definitely not happy, loving, cuddly energies or energies of somebody who is happy to participate or happy to be with another person. Quite the opposite, right? The Five of Swords is a card of somebody who uh, walks away and slams the door on the way out. It's a card of a major fight. It's a card of severing ties in an ugly way. Then we have the Five of Pentacles, somebody feeling left out in the cold, somebody feeling miserable. And the Two of Swords, um, this is somebody 
who either faces a choice, a crossroads, or perhaps this is somebody who says no. Somebody who says, I don't want to deal with you, I don't want to deal with you anymore. I'm not going to put time, effort, whatever is necessary into it, right? So, from the advice perspective, I think this is done, you know, you don't need this person in your life. All right, so yeah, we're moving on to spread number three. Spread number three is um, the next good thing that will happen to you in the near future. Here's spread number three, Pisces. This is the next good thing that will happen to you. That will at least put a smile on your face. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Swords, uh, clarified by the Fool. We have the Queen of Cups, clarified by the Will of Fortune and the Sun. And we have the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Um, you could be dealing with an um, air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or fire sign, uh, Aries, Libra, Sagittarius. What's interesting about this reading is that we have this court card, the King of Swords, right? So it could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, but at the same time, we have a major arcana card for every single fire sign. <laughs> the Fool is an Aries card, the Will of Fortune is a Sag, and the Sun is a Leo. So perhaps this person <laughs> has both air and the uh, fire <clears throat> in their chart but yeah i usually go with a court card if one shows up or court cards so we got this king of swords on the bottom of the deck right and uh you know what i thought of pisces right away when i saw this spread when i was done laying down all the cards i thought of this very wise saying the best revenge pisces is to be happy and that's exactly what you're going to be with this King of Swords. You're going to be so, so happy. And that would be a huge revenge uh, for that person, for that King of Pentacles we saw. Anyway, we start off with the Ten of Pentacles, right? And this uh, followed up by the Nine of Swords. So the Ten of Pentacles is what you had with that King of Pentacles or hoping to have. It is a card of a commitment to marriage. But uh, as we saw in the previous two spreads, it just, it's not going to happen. Right, the Nine of Swords, the next card I came out, that's you, very, very upset, crying yourself to sleep, can't get out of bed. But again, I think th things are about to turn around for you when this King of Swords enters your life, right? So the Nine of Swords is clarified by the Fool. The Fool is uh, you letting go of that Nine of Swords. This is you finally detaching from that, liberating yourself from that. Um, the next card I came out is the Queen of Cups. That's you, male or female. Absolutely doesn't matter. And your card is clarified by the Wheel of Fortune and the Sun. Right? Both of those two cards are major arcana cards, just like the Fool. Uh, the, the Wheel of Fortune is the start of a new cycle, a very fortunate new cycle. The Wheel of Fortune is always good news in my spreads, right? And uh, the Sun is the happiest card in the deck. So this is a, a very happy new beginning. And since there's just so many major arcana cards, yeah, I think it's going to last. <laughs> and uh, whenever the Fool and the Sun cards come out in the same spread, I always point out the similarities between those two cards. In the right upper corner of the Fool card, we have the Sun. And then we have the actual Sun card with the Sun in it. And the gesture of the person in the Fool card and the kid riding the horse uh, in the sun card. To me personally, this is an identical gesture. Also to me, this is a gesture of a very happy individual, right? And considering that the sun is the happiest card in the deck, I think you're gonna be really happy about this new beginning with this king of swords, all right? So yeah, you will definitely, you definitely have something serious and happy <laughs> coming your way um, with this king of swords, all right? So that's what I have for you. Pisces for this reading for this uh, month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Pisces, have an amazing February.